As far as prayer goes for me, I have, well, my way I do it is I keep just little prayers throughout the day, kind of see a little something, say a little something, something like that, or something. Lengthy, kind of formal, bow your head, fold your hands, corporate prayer to me, for me, has always seemed kind of wrong for me because I'm a bit of kind of a wordsmith I have a large vocabulary so I like to make things high and lofty and that just is kind of disingenuous again for me and it's just a little more connective and genuine shall we say for me if I'm just have a thought and it's just a little prayer, just a little something to God. Like, I mean, a lot of times it's the weather just because it's nice outside and that makes me feel good. And then it leads on to the thought of God's creation. And I'm just grateful in that moment. And I'm like, oh, thank you for this sunrise, sunset, just the way that tree looks because it just says something about the beauty of creation, says something about the beauty of God. One of the big times where prayer had a big effect on me was when I kind of transitioned from a, yeah, I grew up in the church, whatever, kind to an actual feeling of genuineness. I worked on at Arlington National Cemetery, and one of the nice things about that is, or at least that is cemetery, I think, in any case, but that was mine, is between services or between lowering caskets down and burying them, we have time to sit and wait for that. So a lot of times I would be reading some, well, not commentary, but some something spiritual. And one day, I was sitting up on one of my favorite spots. It was this little thing on a hill I could overlook and see a lot of a particular section of the cemetery, one of the new parts. And I all of a sudden just had this, one of those epiphany moments where I felt God's love, not for me particularly, but for other people. I felt like the love of God was suffusing me and I was loving every person I could see like God could for, for just maybe a minute it was a little overwhelming but that's one of those things and I was asking for it I'm not just thanking God for his creation but also there are times where I just remember somebody from my past or even the present and not necessarily that you know they're I know anything they're going through or whatever but it's just I think of that person I'm like hey take care of them you know, I don't know what they're going through but I love them you love them and yep and not being lengthy about it and just kind of not... I know we're supposed to be specific, but sometimes it's just seems like a giving them over to God thing for me. Because a lot of times I hear or I think of people praying a certain way. I know that's supposed to be the case, but for myself, I often am just, I don't know. So you do what you need to do, because I don't know what it is. Then I have no idea what direction it should go in. So I just, you know, throughout the day, some people, and if I know something they're going through, I'm just, and that thing, well, whatever you got for them, 